Well, hello, folks. Well, as many of you may or may not know, nitroplanes make good on the fried electronics of my T580 quad, and it flies great now. But it's time to get back to flying it and just having fun instead of worrying about it failing so much, especially in the dark. You know, I know nitroplanes is a distributor, not a manufacturer. I also know they spend a lot of time trying to find good products for us at a good price. In this day and age, it's hard to figure out what's good or not, so mostly I trust them. I've had good luck with my machines, because you know from my videos, I fix something when I see it's going to break, and that guess comes from just years of experience <laughs> breaking airplanes. Anyway, in the case with the T580, it seems that Nitroplanes is actually dealing with a company that's dedicating to fixing and improving their products. You know, I like that, you know. Well, first of all, here's my logic on the night flying lights. I'm from the old school, and just like I wrote in my How to Nightfly magazine articles back in the 70s, I prefer the FAA light setup on my models too. It works for real planes, and if you fly, you know it's very easy to tell if a plane is coming at you or going away by the left and right wingtip colors. Well, standing on the ground, the pilot has to do the same thing with his model, so setting up the lights so you can see them from any angle was always important to me. Flying Christmas trees are fun to watch, but just difficult to tell what's going on. And now that I'm in the quads, I find them to be the hardest to see actually in the daylight with no wings, nose, or tail for reference, especially when they're flying usually above you. So using my Lotus T580 quad, I'm going to show you the difference in light setups and maybe give you some ideas, because they're sure a lot easier to fly in the dark. Well, first of all, most of the propellers these days seem to be black. So since I usually can only see the bottom of the quad, I painted mine white with Krylon plastic enamel paint. So I gotta tell you, so most of the time the thing is above you, so if you paint and most of the propellers are black, you paint the bottoms white, you would be surprised at how much better this thing lights up when you get above you. So not too bad aim down, but I decided to try aiming them up at the white blades for even more area to get reflected off. And as you can see with the props painted white, the light reflects off them nicely and also light up my red green pontoons. Well, I feel more confident flying it now, especially up high when the altitude lock takes hold. I can really see where the front is. These things are so bright, they ruin my night vision, especially the white ones. And that's why I always have them aimed up or with black tape over them as seen on the leading edge of my extra 330. So here's a look. I hope you enjoy watching this quad fly as much as I do flying it and watching it fly. And yes, I removed my surfer girl. <laughs> On another note, since it's 100 degrees here today, and it's another good reason to fly at night when it's cooler. Anyway, the first flights in this video are in the heat, and I found that if I paint the hood white on my quad, it stays cooler, as the electronic spot should be. Alright, let's see how it does when I get above me now and then put the lights on here. Here we go. Well, these lights can be seen quite well aimed down, but uh, still they can destroy your night vision if it happens in pitch dark. At dusk, this isn't so bad. I need to turn those lights over. That's what I need to do. painted the props white on the bottom and aimed the lights up so when I'm above me I should be able to see much better what's going on so let's give it a shot here we go <laughs> ah, that's it that's the way to tell left and right for sure that is it got the white light on the front Red left, oh, easy to see, huh? There's the best way to light your quad in the dark and really see what's going on.
didn't seem to have much power. Night I flew this, and uh, it pretty pretty much seems kind of weak to me. So uh, all I'm doing is changing the propeller to the old one-bladed propeller system. Let's give it a shot. I'll see if it flies any better. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it flies better. One bladed prop. Okay, go ahead and drop it in. <laughs> oh, I broke the prop. Oh, no, I didn't. Ha, ha, ha. Well folks, please stay tuned for more night flying of these machines. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and I do hope you did enjoy my show tonight.